ladder type network and its equivalent resistance. An infinite ladder network are constructed with the resistances R, R, R dot 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 between the two points A and B. Find the effective resistance between A and B. In the diagram, infinite number of resistances are connected uh, between the two points A and B to form a ladder type network. This is a ladder type network consisting of infinite number of resistances and we have to find equivalent resistance between the two points A and B. Infinite number of resistances are connected to the right ends of this ladder type network here infinite number of resistances are connected to the right ends and we can uh, de denote the different terminals C and D, F and G then uh, K and L. These are the terminals and we can denote the resistances in this way R1 equal R2 equal R, R3 equal R, R4 equal R, R5 equal R and R6 equal R. And remaining uh, resistances will be connected uh, to the right same as uh, the loops two loops as shown in the figure and given r1 equal r2 equal r3 equal dot 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 up to infinite times which will be equal to r and d will be equal to r Now we can assume that uh, equivalent resistance between the two terminals K and L as X. The effective resistance between the two terminals K and L to, uh, to the right end of the network as X. Let X be the equivalent resistance. Let X be the equivalent resistance of the infinite network x be the equivalent resistance of the infinite network since since its total resistance since its total resistance x will not change since its total resistance will not change with the addition of with the addition of one or more than one unit of the resistances of the resistances uh, the total resistance will not change with the addition of one more unit of the resistances as rkl equal x so we can say rfg will be equal to x and rcd will be equal to x RCD will be equal to X and RAB will be equal to X. So here X be the equivalent resistance between the two terminals K and L. X be the equivalent resistance. Similarly, if we remove these two loops, then X will be the equivalent resistance between the two terminals C and D again. X is the equivalent resistance between the two terminals K and L or X be the equivalent resistance between the two terminals A and B of infinite, infinite number of resistances. Here X plus resistance of the loop R, C, D, F, G will be equal to X because X will be uh, the equivalent resistance of infinite number of resistances. That's why if we add the resistance of the loop uh, C, D, F, G with X, then uh, it will be again X. Similarly, if we add X with R, F, G, L, K, that will be again X. That means X plus resistance of the loop F, G, K, L, K, uh, and that will be equal to X that will be equal to the same resistance x. Hence, the equivalent, hence the equivalent circuit, equivalent circuit of 
this infinite ladder type network the equivalent circuit of this ladder type network will be will be as shown in the following figure will be as shown in the following figure following figure now we can draw the equivalent or modified circuit diagram uh, that means there should be r1 r2 and the effective resistance x will be connected in parallel combination with the second resistance r2 a and b are the two terminals and this uh, are uh, the two terminals is say c and d other two terminals these are a and b and other two terminals are c and d c and d we can denote the two resistances effective resistance x will be connected in parallel combination with r2 and r1 will be uh, in uh, will be in series combination with the parallel combination of r2 and x r2 and x again the modified circuit diagram will be as shown in the uh, figure below there will be r1 and equ equivalent resistance of r2 and x will be rp r1 equal r there should be r1 equal r and uh, the equivalent resistance of the parallel combination of two resistances r2 and x is rp and here equivalent resistance of r2 and x is rp which is equal to r2 dot x divided by r2 plus x r2 dot x divided by r2 plus x so this is the equivalent resistance of the parallel combination of the two resistances r2 equal r and x this is the equivalent resistance of R2 and X. Therefore, the equivalent, the equivalent resistance of R1 and RP is given by RS, that means equal to RAB, which is the equivalent resistance of the series combination of R1 and RP, which is equal to R1 plus RP, or comma RAB equal R plus r2 dot x divided by r2 plus x or comma r a b equal r1 plus r dot x divided by r plus x so this is the equivalent resistance or effective resistance between the two terminals a and b of infinite ladder type network r a b equal r plus r dot x divided by r plus x which is the equivalent resistance which is the equivalent resistance between the two terminals a and b again again r a b equal x r a b equal x so this is also the effective resistance or equivalent resistance between the two terminals a and b so you can compare and we get r plus r dot x divided by r plus x will be equal to x or comma doing lcm we get what or comma in the denominator we should have r plus x then r square plus r dot x plus r dot x is equal x or comma r square plus 2 r dot x equal r dot x plus x square or comma x square minus r x x square minus r dot x plus r square x square minus r dot x minus r square will be equal to 0. Now you have to use Sridhar Acharya theorem to find the value of x. x equal minus of minus r plus minus root over minus r whole square minus of minus r plus minus root over. Here we can use Siddhar Acharya theorem where x is equal to minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4x divided by 2a. That's why under square root what we can write minus r whole square minus 4 into 1 under bracket minus r whole divided by 2 into 1. Therefore x is equal to minus r uh, plus r plus minus 5r square whole divided by 2. 5 r square whole divided by 2 therefore we get uh, the value of x as the value of x will be root 5 
plus 1 bracket close into um, r whole divided by 2 x is equal to root 5 plus 1 whole divided by 2 into r and here uh, we have to assume the positive value of uh, resistance negative value of resistance cannot be possible that's why x is equal to root 5 plus 1 whole divided by 2 into r as the value of as the value of resistance the value of resistance cannot be negative that's why we cannot assume x as r minus we, we cannot assume x as that means x is not equal to r minus root over 5 r square divided by 2 where root over 5 r square is greater than r so finally we get x is as equal to root 5 plus 1 whole divided by 2 into capital r which is the equivalent resistance and that is also the answer which is the equivalent resistance of the infinite ladder type network between the two terminals a and b x is equal to root 5 plus 1 whole divided by 2 into r which is the equivalent resistance between a and b of this infinite ladder type network of this infinite ladder type network ladder type network x equal root 5 plus 1 into capital R whole divided by 2. That is the equivalent resistance between the two terminals A and B of infinite ladder time network. Now we have another type, another ladder type network and in this case uh, uh, there will be a number of resistances in the lower horizontal uh, branch of this ladder type network. An infinite ladder type network uh, is shown in the figure. In this case, there will be resistance in the lower horizontal part of the circuit. In the and uh, to the right end, we can write in infinite number of resistances. There will be infinite number of resistances which will be connected uh, at the right ends of the circuit. And we can draw the modified circuit diagram here at the right end. We can uh, assume the equivalent resistance as x equivalent resistance as x to the right end of this ladder type network we can assume equivalent resistance as x again we can modify or we can remove one loop this loop we can remove this loop uh, from the circuit and the result will be same uh, this is the network and in this case we can remove uh, this loop uh, from the circuit and in that case equivalent uh, resistance uh, to the right end of this ladder type network will be again x uh, this equivalent resistance will be x that means equivalent resistance does not change if we remove one loop from the circuit now we can remove uh, another loop uh, from the circuit and a modified uh, circuit diagram will be what in this case the loop the loop uh, FGLK is removed, the loop FGLK is removed and there will be no change in equivalent resistance at the uh, right end of the ladder type network. So uh, name of the terminals are CD and FJ. Now we can remove the loop CD FJ and equivalent uh, circuit or modified circuit will be like this. And there will be R1 and uh, R2 and equivalent resistance at the terminal C and D will be again X and this resistance is R2 and R1 equal R and R2 equal R and R3 is also R the two terminals are A and B in this case Again, we can uh, draw another equivalent circuit diagram. In place of R2 and X, we can uh, draw an equivalent resistance of the parallel combination of R2 and X. Here, uh, there will be R1 equal R and in place of R2 and X, we can uh, write uh, equivalent resistance RP. R1 equal R and RP, which is the equivalent resistance of the parallel combination of the two resistance R2 and X. And RP equal R2 dot X divided by R2 plus X, which is equal to R dot X divided by R plus X. And in the lower portion, we ha should have R3 is equal to R. The equivalent resistance of the series combination of R1, RP and R3 is RAB, which is equal to R1 plus RP plus R3. 
which is equal to r plus r dot x divided by r plus x uh, plus r equal now r a b equal to r plus r dot x divided by r plus x that is the equivalent resistance between the two terminals a and b of this ladder type network again r a b equal x so if we compare these two equations then 2r plus r dot x divided by r plus x is equal to x or comma doing lcm in the denominator we should have r plus x and in the numerator we should have r square plus 2r dot x plus r dot x equal x plus 2r square plus 3r x equal r x plus x square uh, so from that uh, we can solve when we can find the value of x as root 3 plus 1 into capital R. So x will be root 3 plus 1 bracket close into capital R that will be the equivalent resistance. That will be the equivalent resistance between the two terminals A and B of this ladder type network. Ladder type net network x will be equal to root 3 plus 1 into capital R. That is the equivalent resistance between the two terminals A and B of the infinite ladder type network or circuit. Ladder type network or circuit. This, uh, this is a shape of ladder and in this case uh, this circuit or network is identical to the shape of a ladder and uh, the equivalent resistance between the two terminals a and b will be x equal root 3 plus 1 into capital r we have to use sidor acharya theorem and uh, we can prove that x is equal to root 3 plus 1 into capital r